Greetings Internet, Richie James here, back in the Final Fight 7 Remake. And you see we're jumping in straight from where we left off. We're about to enter Don Corneo's mansion. And as you see we've now got lovely dresses on. Holding triangle. Why you can't have a press triangle for opening door? I mean it's not exactly that an important sort of a thing. Actually, I never really checked in here. Is there anything to pick up? Probably not, especially not now I'm dressed as a woman. They're not going to let me do much. No, there's nothing. Right. No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madame M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. Jimmy, though, where's Cloud's sword? Can I have it back? I think I'm going to need it. The two of you here for the audition? Second Maybe. floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Oh, I'm going to have a nosy round. Don't you mind me. Well, nothing to pick up. Come back here. Oh, hello. You can't afford a single thing in this place, so don't break shit. Ah, no fun. You guys are mean. That was Madame M's girl, ain't it? Man, she's hot. We've been waiting for you to show. So I'm supposed to go in here? No, not letting me. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. There we go. Huh? Oh, charming. What's that weird, sweet smell? And why do I feel so dizzy? Gas. <gasps> Come on. Well, this took a turn. I don't think you are. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Maybe. Oh my god, that makeup and that dress. Nailed it. I know. Thank you. Moving on. <laughs> yeah. You good? Yeah. Bit woozy, but I'll manage. Hey, Tifa. How you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aaron. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. I've generally got no words for everything that's going on right now. I'm lost. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. No. Not until I've got what I came for. What? So. After we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking about uh, so Tifa's dress. Pretty so sweet. Some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But... I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time. But then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here. Right? 
<laughs> yeah, this is a whole thing. Sorry, right. Tifa. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Yep, yeah, she's sassy and as stubborn Cloud as they come. Me. Took you long enough. <laughs> I kind of like this version of Aerith. It's different and fun. So what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Yeah, it's very weird. Oh my god. That's actually a vending machine. Okay. And I get a new CD. Yay! Right, buy everything I can. And if he needs down, why not? He's got 10 mega potions, that's going to come in real useful. Oh, anything new on the weapons? Nope. Accessories don't really need much. It's almost like the foreboding things are going to go wrong in all of this. Actually, speaking of which. Tifa. What have you got at the moment? Yeah, I think you're good where you are with the metal knuckles. If better than that. Pretty much everything that brings you defense down will bring you magic defense up. Oh, hello. Oh, that's what Cloud's got. I just have to stay with that for now. Accessory. So, yeah, you're going to be a close combat, so best to give you that. I don't know what I'm facing soon, so. You've got ice material. Barrier. Uh, let's give you a healing material. Uh, actually, have your chakra back. Actually, no. Chakra isn't actually that great. Uh, healing. I'll take the one off Barrett for now. He ain't gonna need it. So healing, barrier, ice. Uh, wait. Yeah, ice, healing, and barrier. Well, so many of you guys as well. You got Ifrit, nice. So let's give you a fire material while we're at it. And what else we got? Don't need to give you refocus. No. No. Ah, most of the stuff isn't really useful to you. Don't need steel. Uh, I'll give you the first strike, just to give you that bit of ATB boost, why not? Better than nothing. Oh, that is a little chest here. Sweet. I'll take that. Come on. Can we go? <laughs> Alright, this version of the cloud just kicks it now. No. Ooh, little dinky. Nice. Oh. Now, ladies, right. listen up. I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin. Okay. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. Oh, I think there's only one door you can go through anyway. Alright, yeah. guys. Let's do this. Do you want to do this? Uh, not particularly. This is taking a whole weird turn. So yeah, it wasn't that comfortable in the first one when you first played it, but it was a little less cringy and a little less awkward. At least the graphics were bad, so you couldn't notice all this. Beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dog. Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Technically. Mm -hmm. Just didn't have a dress on last time, that's all. All right, y'all good to go? But let's do this thing. Introducing Wall Market's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, he's as weird and as creepy as ever. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? <laughs> Oh. 
Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> So I wonder what aspects change the rules of this, because last time you had to just like get the best stuff and all the stuff to get Don Carnell to pick you. But I didn't really get those options this time. Oh yeah! I've got it! I've got it! Today's bride to be is Today's? And tomorrow's or the day after's, if the Don takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey. Which one of you said that? Was it you? Wouldn't you like to know? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. <laughs> <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. Leftovers are all yours. Yeah, please. Okay. Okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. Oh, you don't want to mess with Tifa. Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> He's got belly, jiggle, physics. What was That's that? brilliant. <laughs> Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> hey, yo, fellas! We got guests! And y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so they don't get separated into a room each this time. Don Corneo himself. Never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Good day! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? <laughs> Four guys between us. Okay, let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Oh, I'm gonna take you to all these two now. Start fighting. I know you. The Coliseum. Yep. <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, you stupid! Oh, so I'm not fighting them. This is gonna be a cutscene. Wait, she's got a chair. This is not a wrestling match. Going all WWE on their asses. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're creating a good bond there, aren't they? Hey. Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts, the gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Oh, cool! It's on our side after all that. Amazing. Now the kid out. Nice. Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's well, room, right? There's a chest there first. Let me grab that. I love that Tia Eris is actually the one that's in charge of the party here. So there's nothing else. Nope. Oh, wait. Is it? Have you equipped everyone properly? I know I looked at you. Yeah, I did. So I gave Aerith a new weapon in between their recordings. Better hurry. Okay. You're a hell of a conversationalist. Man, right. I'd love to spend some quality time because like that. Wait, can I go downstairs and in between everything? Can I fight them? I see you made it. Yes I can. Alright, abilities. Go with my new ability there. Tifa. You go with your new ability. Why not? This one's for you! 
Keep going in on. I reckon there's something hidden down there that I want. Let's get some health back while we're at it. I'll take care of you. Oh, one minute. Go on. Uh, Tifa. Oh, Tifa, please. You got all the power again. I'm just gonna keep using that because it'll help boost up my uh Ability. Go on. Huh. Is he just standing around days? One more shot. What do you think of this trick? Let's do it. And you're done. That's the way to do it. And that's the way. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it. Can I squeeze through here now? Yes. Better be worthwhile now. It won't be, but I don't want it to be. A fury ring. Okay, what's that do? I have more combat heavy, so I'm going to look at Tifa with it. Oh, there it is. Yuri Ring. Enter the battle with Berserk. Uh, I don't want to do that, though. You lose control of someone. Yeah, they get an amazing like strength boost, but all they do then is just continuously attack. And considering the abilities are what you need to use in this game... Let's go pay the Donna visit. Hey, what boys. Hey, well, we were, and then we thought we'd come and kick your butt. So, you know. Of course they are, like, go ahead, mainly. Ouch. Fine, you're gonna be that way then. Oh, my health back up. Nice. Oh, man. Can I go through the side doors? And that's the way back downstairs. I don't want to go that way. I've already checked down there. Alright. Uh. It's actually right there. I'm an idiot. Spinning my camera around that much, I got lost. Yeah. Right, let's go and interrupt your Don't private time. Hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <laughs> yeah, we're here to kick your backside in, man. Yep. So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Nah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, of course you don't, Mike. I think you want again. to hear this song. I don't know. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans. Or okay, so... I'll exercise you want to start talking randomly again. All right, all right, I'll talk, I'll talk. Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> I might have kept that little bit in as well. It was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Sure. Heidegger. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know. See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking, or I'll smash them. 
All those ladies are intimidating. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7 is going to look like. Oh, cool, man. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Face a certain death when they think they already won. Mm -hmm. Well, villains is when they've already fought, they've won, let's be honest. When they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get it all expenses paid. <laughs> I love the belly physics, that's brilliant. Yeah, pleasant as always. Ah, never the bride. Dolphin Fury, what's that? Well, we haven't learned that yet. Oh, hello. Are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Touristy. At least let oh, us Reeve. issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <laughs> Reeve. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. This level of sacrifice is not even cool, man. Chapter 10, Rough Waters. I do wonder how many chapters are in this. That doesn't sound healthy. Right, guys. If I can get control, I think this might be the place to call it. Because I know what's coming up. I remember it from the original game. And we'll use that as a good start point for the next episode. Hope you're all still enjoying the series, by the way. We'll be back in the next part shortly. Until then, guys, I've been Richard James. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next part. Until then, stay happy, people. Well, now I'm